everyone, and welcome back to another absolutely amazing episode of the Cube SMP server. Everybody, woohoo! Hopefully, you guys are super excited for another episode of the Cube here today. I certainly am, and I'm gonna get straight into things today because I got a lot of stuff to do. So, first things first, we me freaking just running right into things, running right in like a freaking like marathon runner. That actually, people like marathon runners actually like pace themselves. I'm like a hundred meter runner. First things first is look at this, guys. Everyone was saying this in my comment section. I didn't realize it. Freaking H1 changed my shop to Strawberry. <laughs> like, what the heck is that, dude? Let me freaking flip these around, dude. Look, I feel like a freaking noob, but I'm just not realizing that. There we go. Strawberry. There we go. Looking good. And I just want to quickly check my pro. Okay, nothing. Freaking no profits in here. What about over here by the train? Ooh, two gold blocks. I I've been leaving those for being for way too long. I'm going to go deliver those to our house. And let's go check Strawbox down here. And okay, I have absolutely nothing. That really uh, makes me feel good. All right, boom. There we go. Two gold blocks for me, guys. Go tell me to check her mailbox. Don't go spam her comment section saying check her mailbox. If you see one person saying, go thumbs up their comment, guys. Oh my god, every time I go tell people to go tell like another YouTuber to say something in the comment section, I go into the next video and it's absolutely spam, which is like awesome because you guys are crazy. But if you see someone else's comment that's, that's going to be the exact same as your comment, thumbs it up, guys, because that just uploads that comment and then it means like there's less reading for everyone else. But uh, yes, go tell B that she freaking needs to go check her mail because there's money, money, money in there. Woo! Also, guys, I got some comments about the ball drop. I actually changed the design of it. I decided to just use some purple clay and I managed to change up the redstone to make it a lot smaller. So now it's just like, you know, like oh like basically a two by like two area uh so i can just stand here give me all the balls you got bro bam 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 oh that's enough balls so i can go to the other side of spawn now and i could you know freaking implement these like anywhere dude like i could put this like i could like since this is only two blocks wide i could put this like right here if i wanted to or like hey look there's a two block gap here in this shop so i could put it there or like hey look there's a two two block thing here or i could even build it into the wall of this shop like I think it's a pretty cool design. I'll have to talk to some queue members about it and see where I can implement them. Maybe contact some people, uh, you know, find some like businesses that may want to have them like implemented inside of their business. I don't know. We'll figure it out because like, look, dude, we could even put it in like inside the wall of Tibsy shop. I like it's it's that's the that thing is the legit vending machine. This is not a vending machine. This thing over here, whatever the freaking crap this thing is. This thing is a giant. This is a giant waste of space compared to what I've made, dude. My thing is a legit vending machine. You can put it anyway. You can put it on this corner right here dude you could put it right here like oh sick dude i i dig it i dig it anyway i think one new shop is opened uh throughout the anyway i think one new shop is open since my last episode and no boom wants to talk to me about it so i'm gonna go see my boy no boom and then i have to go attend some business and start to work on my skyscraper over by q vegas which i'm really excited to do oh hey oh hey no boom i was just walking my way downtown and i saw you here what's up man Strawberry jam. Oh, oh jeez, that's assault. I'm gonna have to go oh contact the police unless Thank you have you. a no, deal no, no, for no, no, me no. today. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you have a I deal for so me? I'm so sorry. What? Do you have a deal for me? <laughs> do you? Do you? You just straight up like, do you? Do you have a deal for me? Oh, I mean, uh, I could go talk to the. Oh wait, there is no police no, station. No, 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 anyway, no, no. anyway. Actually, actually, I may have just what you need. So if you follow Ooh. over here, actually, and this is quite a coincidence. I'm not All gonna right. lie. I'm just gonna I walk just into here. Open up my first shop. Oh. Yep. Yep. It's for a swimming pool. Now, don't ask. I don't. Don't ask about the swimming pool. So I swear <laughs> there was water here. I swear. <laughs> oh, man. But I think, like, Grazer removed it or something. I don't yeah, even know. Yeah, Grazer. What a prank. That he wouldn't think of an amazing prank like that. Wait. Um. Hey, man. <laughs> no way. You don't Did watch you my cube episodes? You didn't know that I pranked you? No, I didn't oh. even watch it. No way. This was you. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I emptied your pool. I'm sorry, Nerby. I thought it was funny. But then after doing it, I was like, man, this is going to take him forever to fill this up. <laughs> How did you do it? What did you do? Sponge. With? I used sponge. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gonna be terrible. Oh uh, no, too I bad, shouldn't be too bad. Too bad yeah. you can't like squeeze the sponge out and like refill it. Hey, you're screwed, mm, man. That'd be so cool. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, squeeze between I, two I pistons. I hire you back to refill the pool. Yeah, no thanks. I am not doing that. <laughs> but what is the? Yeah, I'm gonna pay you back, man. What's the deal that you have for me today? What am I gonna be purchasing off you? What am right, I gonna right, be spending right. so my precious hard-earned here, cash I, on? Oh. Yes, yes. So what I have here is I just opened up because you know obviously there's a beautiful pool right here. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a beautiful pool anyways. Once one we day, it'll, one yeah, day it'll, one it'll day. rejuvenate itself. <laughs> yeah. So we am I am now selling these beautiful swimsuits. So they come currently in two customized beautiful silk, leathery textured colors. Wait, what are you doing down there? Oh, nothing. I was just getting a workout on the ladder. 
<laughs> what? Right, this is making my legs work. Right. All right, so what it is is it's three golden ingots for one swimsuit. We currently have. You can now feel free to open the chest. Oh, it is currently. Yeah, it's awesome. It's this color is hashtag seven FCC one nine. Oh my yeah, god! So what I'm nice thinking color. of is I'm actually probably gonna purchase some dye. Don't you go for dye at your store, or do you not? Was I do not have a dye. Sure. Oh, you don't have a dye. Never mind. I was gonna no. go in partnership with your store, but maybe later. Yeah, I dude. like it, dude. I like it. Oh, does it look good? Do? Yeah, it does look good. So all, right. all you have to do to purchase Ooh. it is you throw your little gold ingots. I should probably change the sign to gold ingots. But yeah, you just throw them right over One, onto two, the carpet. Three. There we go. Bam, was it three? Beautiful. And then I go down and collect cha-ching. Thank you for doing business with me, good sir. Oh my now god, I can't wait to go test these out and go swim in the uh in the non-exist. Ah, oh my ankle! Oh, are this you okay? oh I'm gonna I'll see you in court man. <laughs> oh I'm no I'm kidding I'm fine okay I just oh man I just busted my ankle a bit. Now I can go swimming uh, across the road here. Dude. This is uh this is nice. Oh man okay this oh, is wait, do we have competition? Yeah <laughs> you got some <laughs> nice competition here dude. Oh man you don't know a community pool already what the heck? Wait wait I have something to show you as well dude come check this out here you might Why want did I even build mine? That's so cool. All right, yeah, all right I know, what is I, it? dude you're right next to the swamp as well bro. I mean anyone could go for a dip in the swamp here. Eh? I'll have to remove the swamp. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, most people have already removed most of the swamp, so yeah, that's your competition, yeah, yeah. dude. Remove it. Anyway, I'll just let's, break it apart. Let's pull our, well, our way downtown and and, uh, and get down here a little bit faster because, you know, enderpearls are so good. I built something last episode, and I haven't had anyone's opinions on it yet, and I just actually right. uploaded my last episode, so I haven't read any of my comments yet. But if we come right past this giant really happy strawberry and look at this oh, over beautiful. here, I built this ball drop machine. A ball. What? what have, you ever, have you ever been walking around town and been like, oh, I need to go to the pool, dude. I need some balls. No. Well, step on that pre- Oh, do you haven't? Okay. Well, just stand on the pressure plate. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Give me all your ender pills that you have. Give me all of them. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Now stand on the pressure plate. Do I just keep standing? I mean, or you what? can get- I, I, Take as many as you need, man. Oh, there you go. Sweet. Bam, you got like ender balls, it. dude. Now you can use those to get to the pool, huh? Genius! It's pretty oh, cool. What do you think of it? Gosh, do you think dude, this is a job. do you think this is a thumbs up design or a thumbs down design like the ATMs? Now my man, I mean my sire, you know, dude, it's a genius idea. Yeah, I dude. like it. I sweet, dude, I'm glad. I'm, you know what? I need some more pills as well. All right. Oh, there we go. Nice. Just getting some easy pills. We can use yeah. these to go swim. Even like a, we could even use these as like a little swim toy. Yeah, and it, it, what it, dude, whatever you want to do with those balls, you Jeez, can use them. Dude, I like it. Also, Woo. what do you think of the strawberry, uh, the new strawberry shop? Dude, I think it's cute. Honestly, yeah, it's so it makes cute. me so happy. And spend all my money. And yeah, don't. Savings. I don't own that shop. <laughs> oh, anyway, man, all right. it was it was nice hanging out. I'm gonna go uh, go do my business, and uh, I guess I'll see you later, man. All right, Strop, see you later, buddy. Come so much, bro. Pool. Oh right, yeah, bro, get some water in it. All right, so I'm over here by Cube Vegas. I'm next to H's skyscraper. I freaking hate this area right here, dude. I always hear running water, and it makes me want to freaking like pee everywhere, dude. Where is? Oh my god, you're right here, running water. Oh my god, this is horrible. This is what I'm gonna be building on, dude. This is this is terrible. What what kind of land? Okay, I think I I'd be rid of the running water. No, okay, R running water be gone. Okay, there we go. I think I'd be rid of it now. Ha 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 ha! Be gone, running water. Anyway, so this is where I'm gonna be building my skyscraper. Uh, I didn't know if I wanted to if H wanted me to put mine in front of his. I didn't really want to put mine in front of his because mine would have just blocked his. I can't want to put mine next to his. So this is my idea of this season skyscraper. So if you guys aren't aware, you're new subscribers. Uh, last season I built the only skyscraper on Cube Season One. It went all the way up to 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 world limit, but I thought it looked a little bit ridiculous going that high, so I took it down. To to cloud limit uh, and then I had like a little cafe on the roof that never really got finished but it was a pretty rad uh, build I liked I liked it up to cloud limit so that's why I sort of reduced it um, but uh, but yeah that's that was what I did last season and uh, you guys can go check out last season you want to see what that looked like but this season I have a completely different idea I, I kind of want to include this last season I sort of just like randomly like put out like blocked out like me building it and then I was just sort of just went on from what I placed down this season I want to replicate something in the real world and put it into Minecraft which which I do with like a lot of things. I love doing it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I've, I've done it with houses before. I've done it with all sorts of other builds. But uh, this one is actually a pretty cool one. And I don't think I'm going to explain it in Minecraft. I think I'm going to go over to like Google Maps and explain it. Just so I can show you guys uh, a lot easier. Alright guys. Welcome to the, to the real world. Welcome to uh, to Google Street View. Okay. So we are in uh, South Bank. South Bank, Australia. I can actually see. Uh, or oh, specifically we are at Riverside Quay. I didn't know that freaking Quay was a type of street ever. But um. 
yeah, so this is a place where this, this is this is in Melbourne. Uh, it's uh, South Melbourne, uh, so sort of where I live. So I can see uh, a lot of this stuff from my apartment. It's on like the other side of Melbourne. Actually, I can't see much of this stuff from my apartment, but I can see one building from my apartment, and this building is absolutely awesome. And if you guys live in Melbourne, you probably know exactly what building I'm talking about. I think this is the the, the biggest most uh, the biggest residential building in the world, and uh, it's called ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba, Eureka Town. You probably saw it down here already, but bam, Eureka Town. This is a building that I freaking love. It's Australian. It's in my home city and uh, it's freaking beautiful, dude It's absolutely amazing. It's like 300 meters tall uh, and it has this like crazy design to it Like this is sort of like the uh, the bottom area uh, I really actually wanted to move into this building like when I was looking for new apartments But they're like ridiculously expensive and the internet in that area is absolutely terrible And I don't know I'd, I'd be paying like way more for exactly the same as what I have here I mean like this it's a nice view and stuff, but I think it's just a little bit over over the top maybe maybe one day in the future but <laughs> not right now uh but yeah this is what the building looks like it's ridiculously tall uh they're actually going to be building a taller one uh next to it they'll be finished in like a few years which is called like melbourne like 108 or something but um yeah there's like bees on like the 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 front here i don't know why but um, this is gonna be something like ridiculously hard to like like replicate, and I feel like the bottom area I'm just gonna have to like sort of figure out myself. I might even go there and sort of like sketch it out and like think of some some like some design myself, what blocks to use and sort of stuff like that. But uh, the main design that I'm really going for, the main design that I'm going for is sort of something that looks like this. So we're gonna have like the three pillars and then like the the, the main pillar and then like the gold part on top, which I'm of course gonna build with the gold, which will look super sick. Uh, here's actually one that someone built. In Minecraft that I saw before but uh, it's like a schematic and like I don't know like I can't see the full thing and plus I don't want to copy what they did looks like they use like ice or like blue wool or something uh, I think I'm just gonna use like the stained glass or, or whatever but um yeah it's a super sick building I can see it from my apartment which is why I think it's like super freaking awesome so like I can sort of see my progress on it here's like it from like all different sides and stuff um but uh yeah it's pretty rad dude it's a really sick building and uh it's in my freaking uh it's in my city which I really love so I definitely want to replicate it and there's also like a sky deck i've never been up on in the sky deck before um but like you can sort of like look over the edge and then like you can there's like no nothing below you like you can sort of just like look through it but um yeah it's pretty rad you can see it, it's freaking huge it's it's a freaking amazing building when you see it in real life like you get so close to it and you're like holy crap this thing is absolutely huge compared to like every other building in melbourne anyway apologies you guys don't like it when i leave minecraft but that's sort of like i feel like that was the best way i could show this did you want me enderman do you really want this right now bro i'll freaking down bam i figured that was like the best way i could show you guys because i suck at explaining things so i don't really know what i'm gonna do now I, I think i might like start gathering some of the resources uh and slowly start to put some ideas together if you guys have any ideas definitely tweet them at me uh as far as as far as the height goes i think i'll take it like all the way to sky limit uh, i'm not too sure though because it might look ridiculously like oversized but it's like the leap of faith which is pretty big and like other stuff i don't know how, how big h is gonna make his because i don't want to like overshine his uh but yeah it'll be a long project it's not gonna be done within a week it's not gonna be done within a month it's not gonna be done in three months it's probably gonna take all the way till the end of the season but uh it's gonna be a fun project to do and and, and, and a project that i'm gonna be really proud of at the end because like it's just like it's, it's something from something from like my home turf that i have brought into this minecraft world and shared with all you viewers on youtube <laughs> I knew something was falling. I mean, what the heck are you from a mile away, dude? Learn to be quiet. Anyway, so what I think I'm going to do for the rest of the episode is I'm going to go ahead and ask you guys for some questions on Twitter, and I'm going to go clear out that land over by my house, and uh, I'll probably just answer questions for like 10 minutes, and then I'll just do the rest uh, off camera while I watch like Despicable Me or something, because I've been meaning to watch that movie for a long, long time, and I still haven't watched it. I also want to watch, um, what's that other one? Uh, Inside Out, dude, because a lot of people tell me to watch that as well, because I still haven't seen that. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter already, definitely go do that i am 700 and something freaking followers away from 100,000. it's been a freaking week of milestones dude we've hit 300,000 subscribers which is absolutely insane we've hit 50 million total upload views which is absolutely insane and if i got that 100,000 followers on twitter as well this week dude oh my god that's the icing on the cake but thank you guys so much for all the support recently it's been absolutely amazing like it's been it's been my best month i've ever had on youtube ever like 
it just just best time in general dude like for for like analytics wise and just making content wise like i've never been so happy and i just can't thank you guys so much for all the support and all the love and the, and the watching of the videos like you guys seriously mean the world to me like you have you have no idea how much you make my day every single day like i wake up with a smile on my face because of you guys watching my videos and that really like nothing can beat that like that is something nothing can do like nothing can freaking beat that dude like nothing like holy i could freaking go to the gym for weeks and i still wouldn't be able to beat that up bro like okay i'm sorry bad jokes uh let's go freaking go uh i love you guys all right so we're here over by my freaking island that has atms all over it sadly and i'm gonna be answering some questions tweet out the hashtag hashtag strawberry man because it's the first thing i think I thought of and i thought hashtag strawberry man is funny because i am not a man i am simply a a, a, a stuttering boy anyway first question comes from pastel jx uh what is your twitter password uh my twitter password is twitter one two oh wait i'm i can't tell you that uh next question comes from uh joy's vlog slut okay interesting name i i wouldn't choose that name but i mean hey i i, I don't i don't judge uh they ask when when will you be traveling when will you be traveling when will you next god dang it when will you next be traveling when are you traveling next okay change i'm sorry change your words uh, so my next trip I actually have completely booked and I'm gonna be attending PAX Prime in Seattle uh, From the 23rd to the 1st and then after PAX Prime I'm going to Europe for another thing uh, that is not exactly confirmed yet So I can't talk about it too much, but uh, I'm gonna be in Europe for a little bit uh, In like the German part of Germany for something um, But it's not exactly confirmed yet, so I can't really talk about that But uh, yeah, I got two trips coming up in the next like couple weeks Actually, I have I have a trip before that, but it's not really it's it's within Melbourne. But I'm going to the uh, I'm gonna go snowboarding for a bit uh, with my family, which is gonna be fun for our vlogs. I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to buy a new camera and a GoPro and stuff because I want to shoot a freaking sweet like snowboarding vlog for you guys because I've never been snowboarding before and I'm probably gonna suck at it. But I also might be good, might be my hidden talent. I might be able to freaking like get famous and like quit YouTube and become a professional. Snow I'm kidding. I'm never gonna do that because that requires working out. Our next question is from uh, Serge Quantum. They ask. If you could go back to school, would you? Uh, I would definitely go back to school if I could. Actually, let me rephrase that. If I didn't, if I never really had YouTube as my thinger and I quit school and I, I don't know, I have no idea what I'd be doing if YouTube wasn't like my thing right now because YouTube is really what like was my like savior after I dropped out of school. It's like really what like it was my job and like it's what kept me like going and it's been like my my thing. Like it's, like if without without something to do, I I die inside. Like I I'm a person who always have to have I always have to have something to do. I don't know why. It's just like the type of person I am. I can't sit still. I can't freaking I get bored super easily and I'm always having to do something. And uh, YouTube has really kept me going. So if I dropped out of school and I didn't have YouTube, I would have been screwed. But um yeah, I definitely want to go back to school. There's so many things that I want to learn about and. Uh, uh, I sort of like miss like the the social experience of school the only thing I didn't like about school really was the courses that I was taking it just seemed like I was really like far back I felt like I was learning stuff that I didn't really need to learn I was learning stuff that I already knew I felt like I really needed to be challenged but my teachers didn't really believe in me to be challenged because my teachers thought I was an idiot but hey look at me now I'm freaking 19 years of age self-employed and running my own business if I could I would take it again and I would tell myself to like not waste my time and take stuff a little bit more seriously and I uh, just get my work done because that was like the thing I was so bad at like I, I I would get this work and it would be so easy but I just wouldn't do it just because I just didn't want to like I felt like this is a waste of my time why am I doing this work when I could be working towards something else like my YouTube channel or learning something different like I don't know I'm I, I just I never felt challenged in school and and that was probably a big issue because part of me was just like too awkward and like bad to tell the teacher hey this is too easy for me teach me something harder or can I get a harder thing to do I was just too lazy for it and plus my school made a huge mistake by giving me a laptop which basically gave me like full access to the internet because I gave myself a VPN and I could access every single website using the school's internet and I would just sit on my laptop all day freaking playing Minecraft or browsing the internet or just wasting my time which wasn't really a waste of time because now I'm a freaking full-time YouTuber which is freaking sick. Anyway, short answer to that question, yes I would definitely retake school if I could. Okay, I'm getting a lot of questions about Huawei. I actually have no idea what's going on with Huawei. I hope he's alright dude, I don't know what's going on. He's obviously having some personal issues with his life. That's the reason why he's not doing YouTube or something really really bad's happened to him But I actually have no answers So just don't ask me about it because I wish I would I wish I knew as well because I have no idea Our next question is from Craig girl there. They asked will the cube be updating to Minecraft 1.9? If so when uh, the cube probably won't be updating to 1.9 because last season we really played on the snapshot
felt a lot and it was a lot of fun but it caused like so 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 many issues and like every time we updated there was always like some sort of problem like there was one update that deleted every single item frame and my shop happened to have a thousand freaking item frames in it which deleted all the items in my shop was which was freaking fantastic so i don't know if we're gonna update to the to the snapshot we also have plugins on the server well a plugin that backs up the world automatically for us and freaking saves it and then like we can easily just like of a click of a button get the backup up which is really handy because just in case anything disastrous happens on the server like i don't know someone's house burns down from a lightning strike from a click of a button we can get our server right back to like a, a, a backup that was like not too long ago which is like super super awesome especially when you have like a, a series at stake on youtube that a lot of people watch it's really awesome to be able to do that super simply but um i don't know i'd rather not update i, I think minecraft is fine at the moment 1.9 i'm seeing super buggy right now and i just don't find anything in 1.9 too interesting uh the dual wording is all right but i just i don't like it too much i i like minecraft the way it is right now i can't think of anything that i want to add on top of my head there's just a lot of things that i want them to fix one thing being this i hate how you block with your sword it's so stupid can they fix that and I can't think of anything else that they can fix. But yeah, I'd rather I'd rather just keep Minecraft the way it is now. I think it's perfect. A lot of people are asking me about Drag Me Down, which I'm guessing is a new One Direction song. So I'm going to go listen to it and tell you guys what I think. Nobody can drag me down. Nobody, nobody. Nobody can drag me down. Alright, that's actually a pretty sick song, dude. Pretty, It's a lot heavier than uh, usual One Direction songs. Yeah, I kind of dig it, dude. I like that. It's not too bad. I liked it, dude. Uh, Ghost CS asked me to start uploading more CS, not just the case opening, but competitive matches, etc. Uh, I'm not too sure because I know a lot of people like the case openings because it's pretty uh, generic. It's like it's it's like watching me gamble. So like you know what's good, you know what's bad. But like in competitive, people don't really know what's going on too much. And plus, I'm not the best competitive player. If you guys didn't know, I'm only like Nova three or four on CS guy. I'd say Nova four. I feel like my competitive gameplay isn't that amazing. Maybe when I get my other PC completely fixed, I could record some com competitive games and then sort of edit them down it's like best slash like funny moments because that's really what I like to do a lot on my channel I know my channel isn't really like a competitive gaming channel like I don't like to do like PvP games and like like focus on like mechanics of games and stuff it's sort of like an entertainment channel where I really try my best to entertain my viewers by like editing my videos in a certain way to make them more funny or more enjoyable or more entertaining and I feel like me playing competitive CSGO is the complete opposite of that because it's like a, like I don't know just me playing it because there's people who can make that really entertaining but me doing it, I'm not the best at the game, so like I feel like I can't do that. Maybe in the future I wanna get better at it. Like I've been I've been getting better and better each and every day, so maybe in the future, but I don't know just yet. Let me know what you guys think about me uploading competitive CSGO games or like moments or matches, something like that. Uh ill Rachel asks top or bottom. Uh what do you mean? Like top bunk or bo oh. Oh, you're disgusting. Why would you ask that? This question is from a two-headed duck, and they ask, would you rather have Grace's stay at your apartment for a week? Ooh, or have Grace's ATMs on the cube? Honestly, considering I'm cleaning them up right now, I would rather have Grazer come stay at my apartment, freak. Not gonna lie, dude. I can, I've can i lived with that guy for over a week before, so I feel like a week isn't that bad. I just hate these ATMs so much. I would endure that pain to get rid of these ATMs because I absolutely... They're filthy. I hate them. I I just want to projectile vomit on them. Just... Just... Bleh. Anyway, I guess this is gonna be the last question. The last question comes from... Uh, thought bagel, thought bagel, or Squidward. They ask something you want to accomplish. Well, I have two things I want to accomplish. Like these are like the first two goals I thought of. One thing that I want, I really, really, really want to accomplish, is uh, one million subscribers on YouTube. Like that's like a huge thing. I'm I'm Ace's boy apparently. That's that's a huge thing I want to accomplish. In my living room right now, I can see it from right here. I'm looking at it right now. I have a 100,000 subscriber plaque on uh, on my shelf, and uh, I would. Would die if I got the million I would not die actually I'd be so happy if I got the million subscriber plaque that is like my goal that is what I'm working towards and once we hit a million I'm gonna go for the 10 million dude because they finally freaking released a 10 million plaque which makes me like want to work even freaking harder but yeah that's like my end goal well not my end goal that's one of my goals for YouTube is to hit a million subscribers we're a third of the way there I feel like we're gonna do it eventually it might take a while but you know it's gonna be there eventually and another goal for me is to eventually have uh, have have a mini strobe have have one of my own kids like i love that i freaking love kids dude kids are awesome and uh i really want to have my own kids eventually not just yet i'm not ready for it just yet but sometime in like the next like 10 years or so 10 years yeah probably in the next 10 years or so i definitely want to have my own child children seven children 18 children 
I don't know. I want to have a family ev eventually because uh, I I don't know. I figured I, I feel like I'd be a great dad and I feel like I I, I could raise children well and, and I would I, I I don't know. That's just something I want to do. Because I actually don't even know why I want to be a dad. Dude. I just think like just even if I found out that I was going to be a dad tomorrow, dude, I would not be like upset at all. Dude, I'd be so happy because I, I I don't know why I think that I think I'd be a freaking cool dad. Do you guys think I'd be am my daddy AF? I think I'd be a freaking cool dad. Anyway, guys, I got rid of all the ATMs. They are finally gone from my place. I feel like I'm going to sit back. Back, kick back, edit this video, and then I watch myself a beautiful movie and uh, try and place down all this wall and get it like over to the beacon or something so I can have all my lawn nicely laid out. Then we can get started on my house. So I have two big projects starting this freaking Kubrika Tower, which I'm going to call it Kubrika Tower. And my freaking house, they're both starting very soon, which I'm very scared of because when I start big projects, they're not going to get finished. A lot of people always question the Millennium Falcon. That's going to get finished eventually, guys. Cube isn't ending anytime soon. Just going to sit back, take your time, guys. Be very patient. I'm not the kind of guy who can do stuff overnight, dude. I live a very busy life. I can't be sitting on Minecraft no laughing at all day. I got to make videos for you guys, and I also got to live my life and, and, you know, be happy and stay healthy. And uh, I also need a ton of iron for that freaking project so i can't do that just yet <laughs> anyway i'm gonna end off this episode here hopefully you guys really enjoyed it hopefully you guys enjoyed the q a it's been a while since i've done one so hopefully i uh gave you guys some some nice answers isn't that right mr piggy and uh yeah next episode of the cube will hopefully be a good one and uh definitely leave a like if you guys enjoyed anyway as far as i need to be watching i've been shut up watch as far as i need to be watching i've been strawberry jam this has been the cube smp and i'll definitely see you guys all again next time peace out bros Woo! Thank <laughs> you.